All right. We got a story out of Houston. Fast food. It's hit the presses the last two days. Gone nationwide. Now, this incident happened in 2020. And uh, let's dive right in. On March 3rd, 2021, Anthony Ramos picked up his pregnant wife and six-year-old daughter from IAH. They drove to a jack-in-the-box right near that airport. Watch as Ramos pulls up to that drive through window. He's then greeted by Alania Ford. And once his food was handed over, an order of curly fries were missing from the bag. When he asked for them, he was told no. That's when the argument started. You can see Ramos in his red pickup truck going back and forth with Ford. She well, she looked like she was like, well, no, I gave them to you. You just want more fries. He walks away, comes back, and the argument continues. This went on for roughly nine minutes before things escalated. Watch nine minutes. This guy sat in the truck with his family for some curly fries. Wow. I mean, would you guys do that? I mean, I, I wouldn't. I mean, after, if, if the employee started arguing with me, I'd be like, okay, just leave. I mean, if you, <laughs> little heads up, it's always best to be very polite to somebody who is handling your food. Because, you know, you don't want them doing the unthinkable to your food and then hand it to you because you've been a jerk to them this as Ford walks away from the window a second oh time God. she pulls out a gun from her pocket checks it and then puts it back another employee approaches the window to try and resolve the situation but in the midst of that Ford comes back and starts arguing with Ramos yet again this time things are more heated eventually she starts throwing ketchup packets into his truck window so he started throwing things back the other employee closes the drive through window and locks it but then Ford comes back yet again, unlocks the window, points her gun directly at Ramos, and starts oh shooting God. as he speeds away. Luckily, none of those bullets struck Ramos's vehicle, and no one oh, was wow. injured. Wow. Uh, that's amazing, because she was right there with that gun. Plow, 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 plow. Thank God she's a terrible shot. Ford was charged and convicted of deadly conduct. And recent documents show her probation ended in June of 2023. Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News. All right, thank you so much. A very wild story. You can just see that video there from inside of that restaurant, that Jack in the Box in Houston near the airport. This, of course, an incident back in 2021. And now. Wow. Wow. Experience the beauty. This is, uh, this is the uh, family March, that March 1st of 2021, and it was just recently that we finally received the video from Jack in the Box, which showed, yes, the discovery process, which shows exactly what happened. Before we, you know, we had their testimony and what they told us, and but the video confirms pretty much exactly what they said happened, just the way that they happened. This well, what was her side of the story? Oh, uh, he attacked me, so I whipped my gun out and shot at him. Worker was the aggressor. When the police showed up there, uh, she initially said that Mr. Ramos fired at them. But Mr. Ramos was not arrested. When the police finally got through everything, they had arrested her for... Um, yeah, they had arrested her for assault with a deadly weapon. And the boyfriend had come over and apparently, according to the police report, had grabbed a weapon or something, uh, the weapon, and he got arrested also, I believe, for tampering with evidence. So She's uh, like, here, go hide it. I don't know. Why would she give it to him? She knew she was in trouble. Is there any other further uh, questions for me? Oh, you haven't seen it? Okay. <clears throat> Well, the video is from the inside of the Jack of the Box, and it's sitting behind Miss Ford, like about you know five to ten feet behind. So it shows her, it shows her completely, as well as who's at the window, and then it shows uh, Mr. Ramos pulling up with his family, 
and he gets his order and then you can see that Mr. Ramos is saying, you know, talking about, well, he's talking about the curly fries that, hey, we... Oh, my God. Ramos is talking about curly fries. So clearly, he was talking about curly fries. I just like, you know, really? <laughs> just, wow. You know, we wanted the curly fries. That's one of the reasons we stopped there. And you can see her, like, not... Not going to get any curly fries, not going to make any curly fries. I know this is a serious, this is a serious thing. Thank God nobody was killed. I mean, this man had his wife and his two children. She was pregnant and had a six-year-old kid in the car. My God, this press conference, well, she just clearly wasn't going to give him his curly fries. She wasn't having it prize just starting to argue with them and she's doing all these hand gestures and so forth and then eventually uh, she walks back uh, towards the camera and you can see her pull a gun out of her back pocket and I don't know exactly where she sets it but she's, it's like she's getting ready to shoot them but she doesn't shoot them quite yet and that's the premeditation so then the manager comes up and they're talking back and forth with oh my god that was the manager you know I, I i was wanting to know did the manager know that she was packing a gun i mean this might be where they might have a lawsuit management knew she was carrying a gun they could sue uh jack in the box unless they it's okay for their employees to be packing i don't know uh, Mr. Ramos and the family, and and then she's and then Mr. Ms. Ford is there as well, and and she's allowing this to escalate. The manager should have said, uh, Ms. Ford, you you go back there. I will take care of it. But it's almost like they're arguing together. Yeah. Why didn't the manager just go? Well, uh, sir, let me just get you your fries. But nine minutes went by. Now remember, at the beginning of the video. Nine minutes had gone by. He, this man sitting out there waiting. But man, he wants his curdy flies. I mean, for nine minutes, the manager, <laughs> the manager knew this. The guy sitting there, probably the little beepers beeping or something. They know he's sitting there for nine. Nine minutes is a long time. I mean, in a way, it, it, it's like a long time. With the, and eventually, Ms. Uh, Ford throws. Twice she throws that. I think they're ketchup packets. You can see on the video they're you know ketchup packets. Uh, and then in response, Mr. Ramos tosses a, a food or a drink, and uh, does it. Uh, I think maybe a little bit of a portion gets on Ms. Ford yeah. here. Ms. Ford walks back, gets her gun out, comes. That's what tipped the scale. Because it looked like he threw some drink and it splattered on the window. And when she did turn around in the video, there was, I, I saw it when we were watching the video. He got her and that, that, that tipped the scale. She says he's going down. Forward, opens the window. And uh, when, mis when Mr., uh, with the gun pointed and when Mr. Ramos saw that, he took off. If you would have waited even one more second, he could have got shot. Maybe uh, his wife would have been killed. Maybe this baby would not have been. I mean, how many shots were fired out of that gun? It looked like she had her hand out the window. Just, you know, it looked like a couple. Come on, this, this young boy. Yeah, fired, yeah. So there was a little back and forth. The back and forth was uh, uh, because I was... Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. can't so, the questions. Yeah, well... Yeah. Okay. Um. The back and forth was because I was all, I was asking for or for the for the French fries. But, I mean, uh, if they're gonna go to court, or well, she's already been in jail for this. But I don't know. I'm not an attorney. But should he be? Should they be talking if they're going to file a a lawsuit against Jack in the Box? Um, I even offered to pay him. I said, "Listen, I even keep what I have, and I'll pay for the other ones, or I could just drive back around." She didn't want any part of it. She said we weren't going to get him. That was it. So then I had asked her to speak to the manager. When she, she went to the back to go speak to the manager. When she came back, she told me that the manager didn't have any time for us to just leave. 
Oh, we so that's how it was asking. So we told her, listen, we're not going to go anywhere to speak to the manager because it's unacceptable. And then that's when the lady came from the back and it really escalated. That, and it was uh, Ms. Ford who started throwing things with the first one to start. Oh, yeah. She, she, she got me in the face with, with the ketchup. I yeah. Guess. Now, keep in mind, this happened in 2020. So he's he's having to remember. Attorney's reminding him. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, listen, I had my daughter in the back of the car to worry about. I had my wife that she was pregnant at the time. And uh, to me, it was unacceptable. But as far as me being scared, I had to react as fast as I could. The moment I was able to drive off right over here is when it kind of fluttered me. You know, I got nervous, called the cops. The cops took forever to get here. And then when they finally arrived, for them to tell me that she was the one saying that I was the one that shot at her. And they didn't even take her to jail that day. That we had to sit there, we had to wait. For the detective to... She, he, he shot at her. She was protecting herself. Call us and say, listen, we saw the video and, you know, she was apprehended. Did you say anything that may have, like, made her mad or just... She was already having a bad day from what I could tell. Because she even... Really? You could tell she was having a bad day? All right. Edit in the video. She's like, I'm not having it. Oh, not in the video. Room. That day, she's like, I'm not having it today. And it's like, I, I understand you have problems, but that has nothing to do with me. You're working. Your job is to, you know, satisfy the customer. GQ. Her job is to satisfy the customer. It's at a fast food restaurant. We all know the service at fast food restaurants are yet to be desired. Um, I'm sure you guys... In your own community, you know what restaurants to go to and where not to go. Some of them are cleaner than others. Uh, good well to tell about a restaurant's clean, go use their restroom. If the restroom's clean, the store looks good. The f Nine times out of ten, the back area is clean. Their, their employees are wearing gloves. They're washing their hands. They're, you know, they're, Look, it's fast food. What do you expect? You can't expect much. She accused you of saying the N-word. Did you call her the N-word? You, don't you work with African-American people? Oh, oh, every day. How has this, um, this incident, how has this affected your life? Oh, uh, that job that I was working with, I was working for a job called Belfort at the time. And um, I came over here to help uh, the state of Texas with the freeze that you guys had to try to get all the, 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 the churches and the libraries and the schools back to running again, fixing the pipes and all the... And mitigating all the hazards. Um, oh, wow. I mean, is he's just going to, let's see, what is else the, uh, is he going to say anything else? No. Wow. Well, uh, we're hopefully to get a Jack in the Box to change their policy or to be more mindful of who they hire so they don't hire people who have been convicted of terroristic threats and then also we are asking for compensation for their uh, mental anguish and we knew that was coming we need compensation the therapy that they've had that's correct actually that would be very traumatic you're going to get some fast food and somebody starts shooting at you I was listening in there to uh, the lawyers and also the individual that was kind of involved in this. Of course, that person that did shoot at the customer there at the Jack in the Box in Houston was convicted there as well. But uh, just the video certainly striking uh, as people go through drive throughs all the time as uh, luckily no one was injured after a Jack in the Box employee shot at a family over curly fries. So certainly A family over curly fries. That's just... Uh Wow. I will put a link in the description. You can watch this video. But there you have it. There you go. That's what's going on. Uh, wow. I don't know. Is there a whole lot to say about this? I mean, I could crack some serious jokes, but it's kind of not funny and funny all at the same time. You know? Well, there you have it. There you go.